Hello CADPrint. The purpose of this video is to give some insight on how to properly set up files for full bleed printing. We will explain the difference between no bleed and full bleed, as well as show some examples of bad versus good files, and lastly, walk you through how to set up your file the correct way. No bleed printing refers to prints that have a white border around the edges. This file is set up properly for no bleed printing. If this file was used in our system, it would print exactly as it is, leaving the white border in place. A full bleed file is shown here. Full bleed printing refers to prints that have image running all the way off the edge of the page. This file is properly set up for full bleed since there are no borders surrounding it. We will now show you some incorrect ways to set up files and how you could possibly alter them to resolve the issues. In this first example, the text in the top left corner is very close to the edges. This file only leaves about 1 8 inch of space before adding the text. When printed and trimmed, the final product would look somewhat like this, with the text being trimmed off along the edges. A good way to fix this issue would be to move the text in at least one quarter inch away from the edge of the page. This way, when we trim off an eighth of an inch for full bleed, you are still left with an eighth of an inch before your text begins. In this example, we've actually just moved the text to the center of the page. In this next file, an eighth inch gray border has been added to the edges of the image. The idea here is to provide enough room for us to trim the prints right to where the actual picture begins. However, this will not work. Due to natural shifting that occurs during the stages of printing, we cannot guarantee that we can trim this file exactly on the line between the gray border and the actual image. The result of this shifting would cause the final print to look something like this, where slivers of the gray border still remain. The correct way to submit this file is shown on the screen now, where the actual image extends all the way to the edge, with no borders added. We will now walk you through how to properly create a template for a full bleed print. We will build a 5x7 for this example. The best way to set up a full bleed file is to make it one quarter of an inch larger than the final print will be. Notice we are setting this file up as a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. This way we will not have to stretch your file in order to trim it. This file will already have enough bleed room on each edge for us to cut off. Keep in mind we print in CMYK, so please prepare your files accordingly. Otherwise, colors may become skewed during printing. We also ask for files with a resolution of at least 300 dpi. Here is your template. We've added a red line to display where the file will eventually be trimmed. This second blue line is to show you where you should keep all of your important text and pictures within. Remember, after we trim your prints, you don't want the text to be directly on the edge. You want a little space between. Also remember that your file needs to expand beyond the trim line. Setting up your file as shown on the screen will not work. Please make sure your image expands all the way to the edges beyond the trim line as shown now. Let's assume that you'd like to add text to this postcard. Where the text is located now, and if you submitted a file that looks like this, the final result would yield text that is cut off, as shown on your screen. To submit a proper full bleed file, please make sure that any text is at least a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the file, or anywhere within the safe line that we displayed in this example. So, if you submitted this file for print, with enough room between the text and the edges, your final prints would look something like this, where none of the text is cut off. We really hope this has helped explain exactly what full bleed printing is. Please see our other videos for help with things like using our website and setting up greeting cards correctly. Thank you, and we look forward to doing business with you.